Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject. We're going to do my version of the Celtic Cross at the end. There'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your sixth house, this could be for you. Um, you know the drill, guys. Thank you for all the support. Like, share, subscribe, comment. It all helps the channel grow. It's very much appreciated, so thank you. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below, the Seven of Swords. What's going on? Let's do two more. Virgo. We have the Tower. Oh, so Seven of Swords jumping out and now the Tower. Ugh. So something's come to shake things up here. Um, okay, I, I, I want to tell you, to the more that you try and control the situation, the more the situation controls you. I don't know why I'm hearing that, or to how it pertains in your life, whether it's um, an everyday situation, a relationship situation, job situation, I have absolutely no idea. Let's, um, let's see. Crossing you. Root of the matter. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in. How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. Okay, and potential outcome. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. There's a significant shift that's possibly been bubbling under the surface for quite some time now. We've got the sun card. So there's, there is good that comes from this. But at the moment, there's like this. I mean, Seven of Swords is self-sacrifice as well. It can be. I mean, it could be more. There could be something here that feels like it's a bit of betrayal. Um, but ultimately, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the energy of surrender. You, Whatever's going on here, you cannot control the situation. The more you try, the more it controls you. Um, because we've got the Tower. Crossing position is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is Mars in Pisces, so the tower hits the hangman. The hangman is a card of surrender. And if it's not in the crossing position, it's something that you... You know, sometimes the hardest part of, of, of letting go is when we reach, like, an awareness that the other person already has. There's something here about letting something be now. that You, you can't fight for this, but... There is a part of you that wants to fight for whatever this is. It doesn't have to be romantic. Something has significantly shifted. It's something that's been brewing for a long, long time. And I'm going to hazard a guess here that it, it was something whilst the nodes were in Taurus and Scorpio. And that shifted in last July but then energetically didn't really get into the f flow of things from the end of October, so into November. So for me, this has been bubbling. Root of the matter is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is, is the fuse. It's the fuse that's lit, that's lighting this ten of, ten of Cups, which is that tower with the hangman. And then we've got the tower. There's a fuse that's been lit. Recent past, we've got the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups can be a card of an apology. Page of Cups in the Tower could be a, a, a message that just starts the unravelling of lies after lies after lies. I, 
I don't know what this is, but there's something that's been unearthed because of maybe a message, maybe some sort of half apology. I, who knows? Absolutely no idea. What you want is the Knight of Swords. There's everything within you that wants to fight and argue. Knight of Swords is bull in a china shop. It's, I need to get my point across. I need to say something. I don't know what's going on here. But something is done. And the problem is, when you concentrate so much on what's lost, you don't see anything else. What's coming in is death. Something is ending. There, there is a transformation that's taking place here. Um, but there's, there's a stubbornness about you, Virgo. Uh, I, like I said, this could go either way. But how you see yourself is the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is technically your card. Um, however, if we look at this deck in particular, we've got the stubborn bull, and then we've got you as the hangman. The hangman is in the crossing position with this tower. It's like you're holding on to something here, not willing to let it go, not willing to sacrifice it for, for whatever reason. I have absolutely no idea. And the universe is saying you have to let this go otherwise it can't grow or you have to let this go because it's not for you i don't know what it is it could be that you just need to let it go so that it grows you know what's for you is always for you can't be um can't be lost it can't be taken away from you but we've got the sun at the bottom of the deck sun and the moon so there's that those are the eclipses something significant shifted possibly last october and there might be an accumulation of that energy in the eclipse season which we're not far away from we're only what seven weeks away seven eight weeks away from the eclipse season and then we've got the ace of swords with the six of swords some serious truths are coming how others see you is the seven of pentacles we have saturn in taurus Saturn is, is the world. The world with death here indicates there's, there's a finality to something. So this could be holding on to a job. This could be holding on to a specific role. This, um, this could be a situation where you have given, 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 given in, in terms of a career and it's just not getting you anywhere. It's, there's just nothing that's coming through. And the universe is here to say there's something better for you. But when we concentrate so much on, on, on this sort of energy of holding on to something, it's, um, it's keeping you stuck. With the Sun card here and with the Seven of Pentacles as well, it could be a situation where you just need to relax. Saturn, when Saturn is kind of doing a little dance with the Sun, we can be very, very frustrated that we don't see the results that we want. You know, this could be... If you're on the social media, you want you want the followers and you're doing all your best to get some stuff out, but just nothing's changing. It could be Saturn. It could be Saturn doing a dance. But the more that you panic, the more that you hold on, the more that you fear, the more that you stress, put more effort in, it's actually being detrimental here. The universe is asking you to take a couple of steps back. You're the king of pentacles. That's how you see yourself. Your advice is the page of pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a case of taking a couple of steps back, look at, looking at something from a bigger perspective. If this is something that is growing with that Seven of Pentacles, trust the seed that you planted with the, um, with the advice of the page. But there's just something that it's like, you're trying to control a, an outcome here. And when you try and control it, you... <sighs> You're stopping the universe bringing blessings here. Now, there's something quite... It could be a natural response. A natural response because of pain of the past. You don't want to go through that again, so you do your utmost to stop that pain. Um, but the problem is, the pain of the past is actually blinding you to the blessings of the present. Because we've got the sun at the bottom of the deck. Your, your outcome is the Ace of Cups. But we also have the Devil and the Hierophant. So there is some sort of shadow things going on here. You might be getting protected from something, 
but in reality you just don't see it. So I don't know what's going on here. Virgo is going to be different for all of you. This could be a need to let go of a relationship. Uh, let us let something go to grow. This could be a situation, stop fretting about the lack of growth that you've got in your business. If you've put the effort in and the seed is strong, it will pay off. If this is um, something where you've been doing it for a long, long time and you're still not seeing success, maybe it's time to do something different. Maybe it's time to look in a different direction. But something has been lit. A fuse has been lit here. It's going to be something to do with the hangman. So we're going to look for the hangman. There's something else I wanted to see as well. Six of Cups, because we've got the Sun and the Death card here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and something else in a second, which I'll do. Okay, let's see. something else as well <laughs> so much coming okay right that way six of cups is with the three of pentacles and the nine of wands nine six three or three six nine you need to trust in the energy at play This is Mars in Capricorn, which is uh, the tower and the devil. We've got them both in your spread. So Mars in Capricorn with the three of pentacles is with the six of cups and the nine of wands. You need to trust that there's something that's playing out here. Four of cups, the other side of that. Nine of wands is Chiron for me, personally. It's, it's, it's moon in Sagittarius, but it screams Chiron to me. Chiron is having a dance with the North Node currently uh, in in. It, at the, I think it's the 16th of this month, is conjunct. And it's going to be conjunct the um, Pluto um, and Venus in Aquarius as well. So there's a lot going on here that is shifting in your reality. And you need to trust the process of what's taking place. Hangman is with the King of Swords and the Fool. Let go. Let go. The King of Swords sees things from a higher perspective. The King of Swords knows that to trust in the unseen with the fool. Last card is you guys next to the Emperor. Hermit and the Emperor. Interesting. So, uh, I want to see two things. First of all, horse tail. Seven of Pentacles is telling me horse tail. What page is that? Hundred and one. Abracadabra. Patience. Yeah, that's right. So, Saturn and Venus. Uh, Saturn in Taurus. Okay. Endurance, steady focus, period of gestation, trust the process, heightened sensitivity. If it's reversed, challenged, challenge, stubbornness, hardship, feelings of loss, impatience. The guidance. There is something good in all seeming failures. And although that might not be clear at the moment, time will reveal it. Trust the process. You know, there's something here about holding on to a situation or trying to control a situation. You're being asked to free yourself. The hangman next to the fool, free yourself. Let things flow naturally. Um, bring love to the situation. I think you've been asked to be grounded. I mean, at the end of the day, the last card is the hermit and the other two um, earth cards, uh, earth signs in the entire deck are your, are your last two cards, devil and the hierophant, Capricorn, Taurus and then you guys. You've definitely been uh, advised to... Um, Stay grounded. Ground your energy here. Uh, and the other thing I was going to look for is 1155 was really standing out for me with the Ace of Cups, the Devil and the Hierophant. So 
So I'm just looking at Gematria. Feeling sad over lies. Okay. Cosmic Owl, Owl you are the master. Okay. Wait and see. <laughs> Spider web. So creating your creating your um reality, you know, one weave at a time. Um but you've been asked to, to, to really just not hold on to anything right now. Because there's something about disappointment. We look at the tower and the death card. Tower is Mars, Death is Pisces, uh, is Scorpio. So Mars in Scorpio is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is disappointment. So something's definitely disappointed you here. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. There's, there's some, it could have been a decision that was made, poor decision in the past. It could be somebody's decision to end things. You know, the Ten of Swords is sun in, in Gemini, sun at the bottom of the deck. Gemini is the lovers. It's a decision. And again, it's like one of the first things I said, you know, sometimes the hardest part is, is letting go when you reach, sometimes the hardest part of letting go is when you reach that awareness that the other party or the other situation already has. Whatever's taking place here, I think it's in it's it's actually in your favour. The Ace of Cups and the Devil would suggest it's a karmic connection. So let whatever needs to end end. And align yourself to the good. And the good is on the other side of the five of cups. The two of cups is always still standing. Okay. So don't you know, like I said, don't let this pain blind you to the blessings that are in front of you. In your extended, we're going to look at what this disappointment is, what you're, uh, what's going on, what we know, what we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. But you've been asked to take a couple of steps back here and see it from a higher perspective. See the lesson for what it was. Yeah. Ace of Cups is here. It's a strong energy of love. Love is a dynamic force, you know, that has the power to transform us, especially with the death card here if we're open to its lessons, okay? Don't force, flow. All right, see you soon, bye.